Furiosa came out last weekend. Um, this yep. is the newest entry to the Mad Max uh, series. This is a direct prequel to Mad Max Fury Road. Yep. It is uh, Furiosa's backstory. So unlike Fury Road, um, it's not like in all in one time period. It takes place over this course of 15 to 18 years, I believe. Yep. Um, I believe, right. actually, I, I've heard people say like the 18 years leading up to it, which Kay. I believe Furiosa said something along the lines of it, like 15 years to Dementis. Oh, um, she might have said that. Which, if it was 18 yeah. years, then that would put um, between um, that bit. By the way, there's going to be spoilers. I should probably yeah. say that. There's probably <laughs> spoil. There's going to be spoilers. We're going to spoil yep. the whole thing. We're going to yeah. talk in detail about this movie. Um, but at the end, when she's when she's talking to when she's got Dementis, and yeah. then um, the the point where the tree is grown, um, and she takes the peach down and uh, yeah, and brings it to the wives. Um, that sh- there's probably about three years, right there. Um, so yeah, you could see that. So that that okay. would that would probably fit the 18 year. Uh, yeah, I believe that. time frame right there. Um, this movie is was uh, the story itself was written out before they actually uh, started. I think before they actually started filming Mad Max: Fury Road. I mean too. Yeah. And it was supposed to be an anime that was supposed to release alongside. Mad Max the video game, Mad Max Fury Road, and then there's supposed to be the anime Furiosa. I did not know it was supposed to be anime. But the reason that they didn't do that is because George Miller wanted to be more involved in it. So yeah. he wanted to actually be more involved in that. And I'm happy um, with that. Yeah, and so it ended up taking nine years to get this around. Yeah. I don't know why. That's the bit I'm not too familiar with, why it took so yeah. long. Has he I, been doing anything else in between? I have no idea. I don't either. I don't know. Anyway. I really don't. Not that I know of. I don't. I don't know. I haven't looked at his IMDb page yeah. to be honest. Yeah, but, um, so uh, you watched it Tuesday, was that yep. right? Yep. And I watched it for the second time yesterday, um, just to kind of get myself a little bit more familiar with the movie itself. Right. Uh, what did you think of it? I so I got to the end and I uh, I didn't know what to think right away. Right. I don't know. It's like lots of process or something. Oh yeah. Like so. for me, it was like like you know I I told you after I saw it, I was like. I was like, I don't know what to think of this movie. Like, I don't know if I, because I, I knew I enjoyed it. Yeah. I just didn't I know how, like, if it was like, yeah, it was okay. Or right. if it was like, like oh, what that level? was awesome. You know? Uh, so I guess I still, and you just watch them back to back, so I'm interested to know what you think. I still probably like Fury Road better, personally. But that's just because Tom Hardy's freaking amazing in it. Yeah. I, I, I mean, personally, I, I kind of have a thing against movies that take place over a long period of time i will say i thought they did pretty good with it they did but yeah just but the if, overall it's just concept. in general yeah like in general um movies on our top 100 movies list that um take place like scarface for instance yep that take place over a person's lifetime i just i'm not a fan of that type of movie uh, yeah it's because i i like how things flow in like for instance in fury road right Everything just like it all happens oh, yeah. because that's like that's you like, just roll that, that's all the next thing that happens. And I love the yep. simplicity of Fairy Road. I like a nice, like I can I can appreciate I can really like a like a more complex movie, uh, something with more complicated intricate plot. Yeah. But a good simple movie, like just like okay, it's like okay, here's here's kind of the concept. Here's here's how all this There's is going. Roll on with. And then it just, and then you know it just kind of plays out. You know. Yeah. And. I just love those kinds of movies yeah. that just oh, they're good. that just are super simple in plot. It's like okay, we're not doing anything crazy because a lot of the other things in those types. Now, of course, this isn't true with all the super simple ones. Yeah, it doesn't mean just because it's a simple movie. It's like good. like the super <laughs> Mar- like the Super Mario Bros. movie, right? Okay. Like I enjoyed that movie, but I have had no desire to watch to rewatch, to re-watch it, it because there's there's like. Because it's like, okay, you know, when I was watching it, I was like, okay, this is really cool. You know, you've got all the, the references. But then after, but then, you know, a, long, a while afterwards, I've thought about, I was like, oh, you know, I could buy this, you know, I could buy the Super Mario Bros. movie. And I think about it and I'm like, I have literally no interest in buying that movie. Mm. Just because there's really not much there yeah. Um, yeah. in terms of anything. And it's, it's fun for the Mario Bros. references. Right. But rewatch. But yeah. after that, but like that was good in the first yeah. in theaters. But so yeah. I'm probably gonna try to catch Furiosa one more time in theaters. I think because, I think it's definitely worth the watch yeah. again um, because like again I, I had I had to rewatch this movie. I, I kind of contemplated. I was like, was it is it worth it? Not. 
but I, I ended up rewatching it because um, there's a there's a lot there. Yeah. And it's like okay, because you're when you're first watching it, you got to process everything what's going yep. on. Yep. And then um, and then you I caught more things you know during yeah. the, my second yeah. viewing, and then a lot of it made more sense, and it was, and it seemed to flow a lot better the second right. time around. Right. No, I should try it again though. So I guess. Yeah. Didn't know what I was thinking right when I got out of it. Mm-hmm. Now that I've sat on it, I think, I think I, I know I like it. I don't know if I really, really like it, but I, I think I really liked it. They did some good stuff. I don't know if you could have done a better job with a different actress. Where like in my mind, at the end, it could roll right into the next movie. I think I haven't watched them back to back, but it really looks like they could just roll. I mean, the end credits literally is yeah snapshot of Fury Road. But it looks like. It, Anna Joy Taylor, I, I, you can make me believe that was her in three years. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. Close to, enough. Different people, but, you know. I thought Graham's uh, I, I, I thought awesome. they were pretty good. And um, so when watching, when watching Fury Road, yeah. um, I did notice a couple things. Um, so you have, so like a lot of the costume choices were actually the same in Furiosa. Yep. Um, I noticed like towards the end of Furiosa, you know, she's got the, the mask and the goggles. Yep. And then I go back to Fury Road, which I'd only seen one time right. up so at this point. I've seen it like five times. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, and then, you know, you know, that design's the same. And then, I, you know, I was, I was looking at the hand and actually, oddly enough, I was like, wait, the hand actually did feel a little bit more real in Fury Road. Yeah. And that's because I, I don't know how they did it in Furiosa. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. But in Fury Road, they actually had a prosthetic over her hand, and they just put her hand in a sleeve, green sleeve. Yeah. So it, it was like an actual prosthetic, but it wasn't actually like a working mechanical thing. It was just something right. that she could. It was something um, to get get you close. Something you could reference. Well, it was. Uh, it it was something that um, like they they used the actual thing, but it wasn't like it wasn't like obviously like a full robotics. Right. But it was it was mechanical. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how they did it in Furiosa. Probably CGI. Probably, because um, there's not much with there, the arm. I think, I think there was only really one shot um, that I was like, I was like, that looks like an actual physical object, more or less. But it's yeah. it's hard to say, because I know a lot of people have said that Furiosa, there's a lot of shots in Furiosa where they're like, oh, the CGI is really sketchy on that. I didn't, I didn't like, notice. re-watching it, I okay. was looking for it. Okay. And I didn't see it. Okay. Now, maybe this is just, maybe this is just me, you know? Maybe this is just... Well, but uh, you're going to have a better chance of spying it than I would, because I don't even know really what I'm looking for. I, I think that's probably part of the thing for me, is because people were saying, that they, they, they were like, oh, yeah, that was definitely in front of a soundstage, but I don't know. Maybe because for me, like, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, oh, you know, the, the, the biggest magic of Fury Road is that it's all done practically. It's like... Uh, do you remember? No, the it's first, not. <laughs> do you remember the first sandstorm scene? Yeah, <laughs> there's no um, way. Well, I mean, yeah, like obviously not like those. Some of those effects weren't done practically. Yeah, but, or you thought like but stunts like, and stuff. A or... lot of that stuff was maybe not CGI, but they were they had to do them a lot of things separately. Yeah. So like you had like a certain war rig that um, that blows up, and then they had to film that by itself, and then they had to composite that in. So you had a lot of different things, and so for me. I don't know. I just assume everything is fake. Yeah. Like, like it's like e- even if you've done it for real, yeah, you're still gonna it's have to still not it entirely up. real because, like, you compare modern stuff that were done for real versus older stuff that had to be done for real. Yeah, and and even the, the older stuff that was done for real still doesn't like. I don't know. To me, Tough like to all of it, because it, it's it's all fake. It's all a movie. It's all spectacle. They all have to do it. Um, in a way that's not going to be, you know, dangerous to the actors or the stunt people. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can't get too realistic with it. So. So it's it's all fake to me. I don't know. But, but it's it all's the same. Yeah. It's um, whether it's practical or digital effects, it all feels the same to me. And you know, I'm I'm just watching it. I'm enjoying it. I'm not. I'm, I'm never really thinking about. Right. Is this real? Is this not real? Because it it all feels like the equally. I don't know. It's just it's a movie. Yeah. It's a movie. None of this is actually real. It's fun, you know, and like yeah. I've tried thinking of things of like, oh, this, they did this for real, but I'm like, ah, I don't know. But, yeah. but it's not for real. No, that's a good know? way to go at it. I never yeah. saw a shot where I thought that looked really off. I didn't either. So, yeah. Yeah, I thought they did, they did good, as good as you can do with going over 15 years. Uh, it's uh, nine years old from Fury Road. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then 
I loved Chris Hemsworth. Like, great job. Dementis. What was it, Dementis? Yeah. The, great job acting. Yeah, and... Yeah, especially considering he's using... I think, from what I heard, he's using his... Because he's Australian. Yep. It was either his father or his grandfather's accent. Yeah. Is what I've heard. It sounds... And Which that, is doesn't sound like him normally. Well, yeah, well, because he's using an American accent normally. Yeah, but it's... or yeah, he, he's using some other accent normally. But um, yeah, and yeah, he he was fantastic. And one thing I really liked about him, so I I realized kind of uh, during the second viewing yeah. that his like his cloak is a parachute. Yeah, I yep, I caught that. I didn't realize that the first time around because um, he, he was sitting there eating the sausage, and I'm like, wait, that's a parachute on his back. Yep. Um, yep. But that parachute it goes from pure white. Because then it gets bombed by red, right? Bombed by red, so it, it's dyed red. Yep. And then, um, and then after like ten years or so, um, when you see him again, black. Oh. And and you, and you see the black over the red over the white. Interesting. And so it's, it's I don't not, remember the black one. It's uh, yeah towards the, towards the end um, when you see him. Uh, so when they go when Furiosa and Praetorian Jack go to Gas Town. Yeah. And. You, you you see uh, you see Dementis and he's and he's, he's like he's like I'm getting out of here yeah right <laughs> it's going down the thing is black yeah it's not but it's not fully black it's black then red but it then started red. that yeah so I, I thought that was just really cool the well, way Petorian how... Jack the other uh, rig driver that yeah, she yeah, was yeah, with yeah. they did good with him too in his brief time yeah that was I I thought he was a really good character I was that might have been well okay I'm not to rewatch it so I might not stick to this but might have been the highlight of the movie might have been the uh, that rig chase. Uh, the war rig chase when uh, she kind of helps him out. That's her first the, the the first time the two of them get together. That mm. was at least one highlights one. When when she when she reveals herself. Yeah, when but it's also herself. like, uh, was it the scarecrows or the who was the faction that broke off from Dementis? Oh, I don't know what they were called. Yeah, okay. but you know who I'm talking about. Yeah. So when they yeah. do that was like a I I swear it was like five ten minute action scene of them trying to stop them. That I really enjoyed that. That was that yeah. felt like. And I mean, even just like Mad Max, like something like a, I think it was a six wheel uh, monster truck. I mean, it's just fun. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> who comes that, up with that? That bit at the end of that, when uh, when Furiosa like points the gun at Jack, and he's and she's like, it's like pull over, and then he slams the brake down. She. F- she flies forward into the front seat and then he shoves her out. Yep. Just right there. She's just, like, let me he, out. Like, boom, boom. And just throws her out and just... Good enough. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's like, okay, fine. You want to get out? Get out. <laughs> and, then, and, then he, and then he drives it a while back, parks the car, then comes back and then is like, hey. Could you notice anything when we watch a Fury Road if we're ever like looking at her arm? Or like unwrapping her arm, like maybe with the stars? That she tattooed on her arm, or it is, I don't think they reference that in Fury Road ever. That arm's cut off. Ah, okay. Because that because you're right. Cause no, you are it correct. Was, it was it's this, this one. It was this arm, and oh, that's the arm that gets cut off. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yep. Two and two. Put it together there. there. So that's why they don't yeah. have it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, got it. Got it. Yeah. No, I. Uh, so my younger brother went, and it was his and his cousin. Mm-hmm. And it was like the second R-rated movie they've seen. Okay. So they were. What was the first? The, the other one, right? Mad Fury Max Road. Fury Road. Okay. Because that one's rated R two, right? Yeah. I think yeah, it's yeah. So this one, uh, they they were out. They came out. and They were like, "Wow, that was that was pretty graphic." <laughs> and I was like, eh. "Compared to PG thirteen, it is compared yeah. to some of the other movies <laughs> I've seen on top one hundred list." <laughs> <laughs> That's Maybe. Oh, they, I don't know if they needed to do the scene. They they could have cut the scene at the maggots or whatever. They, they could have cut that, but if you're going R-rated Actually, already. not really, um, because the, now this is, I guess this is just something that I've got with, uh, in relation to the Mad Max video game. Okay, so I won't know this someday, so, yeah. So, um, maggots is like a source of food oh. for them. The, that, that's, that's a maggot farm. They're, they're harvesting oh. that for food. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, because... Still in, old. Weird though, see, but no, yeah, that makes more sense. A lot of the it's a use instead of just we're gonna try the, to shock the audience. A lot of the food is pretty disgusting. Yeah, that's in yeah, yeah, I don't need it. Um, in in the video game itself, you have uh, two different types of food you can get um, yeah. when you're going through uh, strongholds and stuff. Yeah. Uh, or camps, I should say, not strongholds. 
um, and that is maggots and dog food. Those are the two types of food you can consume. Nice. Okay, at least they, yeah. Bit gross. At least they didn't show someone eating dog food in the middle of the movie. Or that was, uh, that was Mad Max 2. Okay. Oh, I missed that one then. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay. that, that, that dog food, the, him eating out of the can of dog food, uh, that, that's actually just a reference of uh, the Road Warrior. Yeah, um, nice. When, like, because he's, he's sitting there and he's, he's yeah. eating dog food. And I was like, that's gross. Uh, <laughs> but I guess in the wasteland, you got to get uh, what you can find. Um, so you know, the, you know the scene, this is horrible, but anyway, the scene mm-hmm. where she loses her arm, right? Mm-hmm. And like it comes out, oh my gosh, your arm's just hanging there, right? Right. Because I think... It got like severed earlier from the tire. I think you're supposed to think. Not severed, or at least very, started. It, it, it was damaged. Uh, yeah, like she she got really injured. But that's that's what I view it, right. So in my mind, I had the thought. I had the flashback to earlier when she was on the motorcycle and chewed through the, uh, the gas line, right. Mm-hmm. And I thought, oh my gosh, they're gonna have a scene of her like, trying to chew through her arm. That's what I thought. I'm like, oh god, don't go there. I was waiting for it. And then, thank goodness, it's just the arm. Yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, that would have been rough. But anyway, that's what I thought was common. Actually, that kind of reminds me. um, One thing I noticed at the beginning of the movie is that they have a lot of hot swappable parts for their bikes. Yeah, that was cool. That was something that was like, oh, my gosh. Because, like, like in Fury Road, right, you you see they have, like, swappable um, steering wheels. Yes. And in at the beginning of Fury Road, or sorry, uh, Furiosa, um, you have them like they just have like, you know, like a little pin that pulls and the whole out, tire is off. and the whole tire comes off. And then or, the gas tank. Or you, you you can just take the gas tank off, which is really clever because it's like, of course you would want to do that, you know? Right. Um, because these parts are valuable, and you don't want to um, like if like yeah, let's say one part of the um, one part of the uh, bike goes down. You know, you want to be able to take the tire with you, or you want to be able to take the gas tank with yep, you. And grab the essentials. And that's, um, yeah. So I, th- I thought that was really cool the way they were doing that. Yeah. Um, and yeah. Th- this this movie adds a lot of lore to the Mad Max universe. Yeah. Yeah. And it is fantastic. It does a great job of, in my mind, of being a good movie and not ruining anything in Fury Road. It, like it does, it's, it supports it, and it never has something where you're like, well, I guess maybe the only thing you could say is what happened to the one brother in Fury Road. But you could say at the end of the movie between like... Which brother? Uh, at least I think it's the brother. It's the one you said's in the video game. I can't remember the name. Scrotus? Anyway. Scrotus. Which, um, I guess this is technically a spoiler for the video game. Uh, Scrotus dies in the video game. Yeah. So he would be... He's um, And in my personal headcanon, yeah. um, you have Furiosa, and then Dementis dies. Yep. And then you have the Mad Max video game somewhere in that three-year period. See, that's what I was going to say. And then you have the Fury Road. I was going to say, in that and, three-year period, um, Scrotus could go. Which makes the most sense because you have, um, I don't remember the guy who ran Gastown before Dementis took over. Um, I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, he died. Because, yeah, he, he died pretty quick, uh, pretty quickly. And then Dementis took, yeah. takes over for like 15 years. Yep. And then you have... Um, well, and, and, did he and take you, over Gastown, or he take he took over Bullet Farm. He took over Gastown. Oh, did he? I thought it was Bullet Farm because the Bullet Farm was trying to revolt well, against uh, he, him. Well, he he after um, after the people of Gastown were revolting, he then went to Bullet Farm to take that over. Gotcha. And then he was going to take the, try to take the Citadel. Um, so he he did take over, but he took he first took over Gastown, um, and then he ruled yeah. Gastown there for that, that's that's where you stop seeing like that's when he traded, um, gotcha. Furiosa. To Immortan Joe, and then um, he he ruled over Gastown for about fifteen years. That's my oh. guess. Um, so the Mad Max video game can't take place during that because Dementis is ruling Gastown, and the People Eater is ruling Gastown during um, uh, during Fury Road. Yeah, that's a really fat guy who's yep. like oh, massaging yeah. his nipples. You know, <laughs> really weird. Great. Yep. Yeah. I actually. Uh, I was. I actually uh, started watching a, a clip of some people talking about Furiosa, and like, as, like they they mentioned, like, um, they mentioned that bit. Yeah. Like where where he's just kind of like massaging his nipple. Like he's got the nipple clamps and everything. Yep. And then and the, and the guy was just like, he, he was he was like, this this is such a stupid movie because like, what the heck are you like? You've got a guy mas- just mas- massaging. I'm like I'm like as soon as I heard that, I was like, okay, I'm done with this. Like I'm not, like. This is all 
absurd stuff. Oh yeah, like the that's the whole weirdest, movie. craziest, wackiest stuff. I'm like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not paying attention. If if you're gonna be criticizing that, yeah, I ain't listening to your opinion on this no. stuff. That, that's the whole point of the all of them. Yeah, yeah. as crazy and as mad as you can, and keep a little plot and story going. Yeah, and it's is uh, it's some really deranged stuff in there. Yeah. Um, yeah, but speaking of the video game, yeah, you've got uh, Scrotus, who's by, who's referenced by name, uh, and yeah. you see him yep. on screen. Um, he does he doesn't have the same like none of the video game characters have the same design as in the movies. Yeah, that's what they are. Um, but also, um, there's I, I there's a character I believe is Chum Bucket. Yeah. Who is the hunchback um, that you that is your kind of your sidekick in the game? Yeah. And there's there's two things that make me think that one I think. It's not entirely clear, but I think he is a, a hunchback yeah. in the movie. And the second le- second so thing too. is, is he's building a car, yep. which also makes me think, because like um, in the video game, you you start you're like you you're with him because he's helping you build your magnum opus. Oh, because that's the point. Okay, that's yeah, because that, that's part yeah. of the point of the game, right? And so I'm like that. I think I feel like that's kind of because he had been trying to work on um, making this uh, car. Work. So which, and in the in Furiosa, he's all, oh, you gotta see my I my beauty, yeah, yeah, my beauty. Which uh, and, and the way he kind of talked kind of made me think he okay. was, he's Chum Bucket. So that could be a reference. I, I'd give you I, that I think for so. sure. Okay. Um, but also now this is more of a kind of a Mad Max Fury Road kind of thing. That you, you remember that girl, little girl that haunts. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I think I'm not 100 percent sure, and this is obviously definitely not confirmed. Okay. But after playing the Mad Max video game, I think that that girl is in the video game. Because uh, there's a woman that you end up rescue, or uh, there's a woman that you, uh, I think, technically win in a race, and she has a daughter, and you you uh, you end up helping this woman and get her daughter back. Hmm. And yeah, there's a reference to a daughter, this little girl and her yeah. mother, and um, the girl kind of sees Matt, Max as a bit of a father figure, thinking like, oh, we could be one family. Oh no, man. And they die in the game. Oh, <laughs> Not in the way that you see in Fury Road. Okay. But again, but, because things, you know, are changed between the video game and yeah. the movie. So that's I think I think that's I think that's I'd give that to you. <laughs> I, that'd which, be interesting. Which, which, which makes the Mad Max video game just like like very intertwined because I think George Miller he did um, consult on the video okay. game as well. That'd be nice. So um, just some things that are just like Yeah. That I just like what I've started seeing in like Furiosa, I'm like, oh, this is confirmed. This is confirmed. See, that's fun. That's um, fun. But of course, the game itself isn't fully canon, but still. Um, I have references. To, I'm almost wondering if that's the video game story could be the year before story. It could, from yeah, maybe. That I, I don't know. I don't know. It's not confirmed. Nobody knows. And then they, supposedly there's a shot, there's a shot of Mad Max. Or, or Tom Hardy, right? In Furiosa, I think, up on the Not ridge. Not Tom Hardy, but okay, it is, just it is supposed Mad to be Max. Ma- it's supposed to be Mad Max, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, because you've got the V8 and you've got... And then it implies that he drags Furiosa to the Citadel. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. What? Uh, cool little whatever. It's there. It's a little Easter egg. Little yeah, little, little Easter egg. That is what it is. Kind of fun. Um, As there, do you know if there's any plans? I thought they were going to make another sequel. To Tom Hardy's maybe. I find it unlikely. Okay. Um, just because um, this movie bombed hard. Yeah, it sucks. Over, over the four-day weekend, uh, Memorial Day weekend, it made like $30 million over Jeez. it. Which Cap. is, I think, I want to say Dune Part 2 over a three-day weekend made $80 million. Cap. And that's that's going to be your reference right there. And that's domestically. Yeah, right. Um, right. Which means, and this movie I think costs somewhere around 170 million or something like that. Yeah. Which means they need at least 400 million to break even. So I find this unfortunately very. Um, I, it doesn't seem like people are really eager to go watch this movie, mm. um, which is very disappointing because I it's something that you know I, I've seen a lot of people, um, you know, really enjoy the movie. You know, we enjoyed this movie. Right. And um, it's something that I think I really think a lot of a lot more people should go see. Yeah, I agree. Uh, um, I love that one. But. Mad Max, Fury Road, and Furious. They're just utter insane movies. Yeah. And they're, it's a lot of fun. But good time to go watch. Yeah. So, um, I'd recommend seeing them. See yeah, them both. Definitely. They're both good. Definitely. Do um, you have any other thoughts? I don't. 
No, now I've thought about it longer. I, I really enjoyed it, and I'll probably go see it a second time. And yeah, yeah. Now that and I know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it makes it a little bit easier to go through. and um, Yeah, it, there, there is an overarching storyline, which, yeah. you know, like I said, I don't like things that don't have, that are just over a person's pa- pa- yeah. span, lifespan, but um, it still has the overarching story. Um, I also don't, I don't really like how it has chapters. Not a huge fan of that. Yeah. Because it, 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 it works to break up the movie a bit more. Yeah. No, um, I hear you. Not so smooth, but. But, but yeah, no, I thought it was good. I think the second, I think the second part was probably one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, that second chapter, like Lessons from the Wasteland. Yep. Um, yep. At least, at least for the younger Furiosa bit. That was, that was, was kind of fun. Um, no, they did good. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. So if you guys want to see uh, more discussions like these, uh, yeah. we do these. Every once in a while, I yep. guess. Uh, we'll be yeah. back with, um, in July, we'll be back with uh, watching the Deadpool movies. We'll be watching yeah. Deadpool and Deadpool 2, and then Deadpool and Wolverine when that comes out. Um, so if you guys have uh, want to see any more of these videos, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button, like the video if you liked it, and we'll see you guys in the next one. We'll see you. Ciao.